Hi, this is Elisa with XYZ Wellness. I'm here today to talk to you about wrist pain. And um, you might know people in class who've got wrist pain already, maybe you're one of them. Um, and if you're not, fantastic, we want to keep that from happening. But if you already have it, we, we have a few things that we can do to deal with it as well. But first, we'll start with preventing wrist pain. So if your wrists are feeling good, we want to keep them that way. And the best way to do that is to have a nice foundation when you come into any poses that are on hands. So that could be hands and knees, like tabletop for cat and cow. It could be plank. Um, also, um, downward facing dog. So when we come into those poses, we want to make sure that we're not just putting the weight of the body into the palm of the hand, but into the entire hand, including the fingertips. So the fingers um, will spread wide and almost into a starfish shape. We can curl our toes under, and as we're pushing the weight of the body, not just into the palms, but also into those fingers, we would lift into our downward facing dog, pushing that floor away from us, and again, still keeping the attention on the entire hand. So that's the way we prevent um, any type of wrist discomfort, but what if you're already dealing with it? So if you are, there are a couple different options. Um, the first one would be to have a blanket or a towel, and we could fold this up a few times, creating a little bit of height, and then we'll bring the palms of the hands onto the blanket itself or the towel, and then putting the fingertips down onto the mat. So we're creating a little bit of height here, and we're changing the angle of the wrist. So it's not quite as extreme as it was um, in tabletop or in our downward facing dog, at roughly a 90 degree angle without any type of lift. So now it's a, it's a smaller angle, and that might be enough of a modification here in our cat and cow to make that feel a little better. Um, another option if you don't have a blanket or towel with you in class, you could roll up the top into the mat just a few times. So now we've created a little bit of height once again, just like we did with our blanket, and now we place our palms onto that rolled up mat. Fingertips are down, we'll spread the fingers wide. Same thing here, so you could come into your cat and cow, or maybe lift into your downward facing dog and have that change of the angle for your hand. And yet another option would be to come down on the forearm. So um, if we're on, if say you're doing cat and cow, you could bring forearms down onto the blocks. And this now changes everything because we're taking the weight off of the wrist completely. We're on our forearms. And now we can move through those options. We might want to come into our plank pose, bringing the legs out behind the body, or downward facing dog, or, or cat and cow. And in addition to um, this option here, I've got the block on the second height. But you, the blocks have three different heights, so you could bring it to the lowest height and maybe stack two together, and then another two, so you're up roughly as high as you would be on hands. Or you can bring it to the third height. So maybe just experimenting with the heights of the block for whatever pose you're in. And again, bringing forearms down, really releasing and letting go of any tension at all on the wrist because we're completely taking them out of the equation. Um, another option that you do have for poses where you do want to be on hands would be to buy a wrist wedge. And I'll share a link down below so that way you can check it out and see what one of those looks like. But it works very similar to the blanket or the towel or rolling up your mat. And it just makes it a little easier because you could just shift that on the mat and then shift it off as you're going in and out of those poses. So I do hope you liked and can use these tips that, I'm, that I shared with you today. And if so, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon down below so that way you'll get notified every time that I do share a video. And thank you so much for sharing this time with me today. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.